look at a Polaroid Square Shooter 2. These cameras were made in 71, 72, and has a lot of features similar to cameras that were before and after it uh, by Polaroid. You have the instruction book. You get a fresh set of batteries. You get the, uh, the roller set that's going to go back in it right now. And a new vintage, whatever, uh, Polaroid Type 88 uh, film pack. And I uh, just wonder if this is film pack is going to work. We're talking this thing is like now 49 years old. So will this uh, roll of film work? So I, I don't know. So let's look at that. Let's put it back together, load the film. All right, camera has a shutter release lock right here. Uh, dial in your distance from your subject with this. There is a cube flash shoe on the side. This probably requires some discussion. This is the cold clip, which instructions tell you that if it's under 65 degrees, take this clip, hold it under your arm, warm it up, and use that to store your exposed film while it develops. So, it's being held together by a Looks like duct tape, it's not even holding together anymore. There are some other instructions on the back for basic camera use. Okay. So there it says, keep rollers clean. Yes, I already took this out and cleaned it. There was some uh, chemical smudges on there. So that may have to you know, be clean from time to time if you're using this camera often. So let's see if I can put this back in with any bit of ease here. Yeah, that's it, that's what I thought. Snaps right in, there's your rollers. And it's staying in nicely. I got the new batteries. I'm gonna put those in these slots here. This one up. That one down, and then push this whole thing back, and then it snaps in, and that's it. Just for fun, we'll take a snap picture. You see that shutter moving quickly? Okay, and that was it. Just gonna put the camera away for a moment and open this ancient pack of film. Look, film loading. Hold the film pack only by its edges at all times. You press against the center of the pack, you can damage the film. Pretty much everything you do is gonna be potentially damaging the film. Uh, let's see, push the pack into the camera and down as shown so that it snaps into place. Be sure the white tabs are not caught between the pack and the camera body. Close the latch and the camera and pull the black safety cover out of the camera. So usually what you're not seeing in the cartridges is all the different layers of film just stacked on top of each other. See instructions on the other side. Tear open. Use empty bag to hold litter. Yeah, that's forward thinking. Okay. This is already a problem. Look at all the chemicals that are down here. So this may be a short video. You know, when I got this camera and thought about using it, you know, I, I know there's film out there on eBay or whatever, and they're expensive. They're not cheap, and 
I don't see why uh, they would be any different than what I have right here. So I'm going to clean this up a little bit off camera. I'm going to put the film in anyway. So we're still going to go through with this and try it, but I will try and clean that up and it may take some time to dry. So saying bye for now. So it took a while, but I got the safety cover pulled out um, and it exposes the tab for your first exposure. Uh, what I did not get to show you is this. This handle is meant for tension. So while you're holding this, usually standing up and not with a overhead camera over you, and you pull out the, the tab. A good time isn't just a thing you buy or rent or borrow. A good time is a lovely day that won't last till. Polaroid's good time camera is only $34.95. With an electronic shutter, electric eye, built-in flash, and a sharp three-element lens. Not to mention the pictures you see in just 60 seconds. Is there any other way to take pictures? All right, attempted to shoot with the square shooter. And this is what we got. The film is so old and brittle and possibly heat damaged. Um, the tabs were almost impossible to pull through without damage. And uh, you can see where it's sticking onto the film itself, the cover. So the roller would have been pushing the chemical over this and then I would in one minute open this up to get my exposed film and uh, yeah did not really work well so we may revisit this camera another time and see if we can find some uh, newer stock So after doing some research, I have decided not to pursue purchasing any film for this. It looks like it's going to be too expensive. Uh, there's one. So that's not going to happen. There's some examples on eBay. Like two sealed boxes. Well, you just saw what I just did. I had a sealed box. So my confidence in any of these being any better than what I just had is, uh, <laughs> is not very high right now. So with that in mind, I will close this out. I had fun looking at the camera itself. However, I'm not going to waste any more money on, <laughs> on film and especially dated film like this where the same problem may happen i could get rust i could get uh, uh leaky chemicals so there you go that's my square shooter 2 video have a great day